Hey, Doctoress, how you doing? Hope you had a good Christmas. Good to see you. All of you on this expedition, I'm sure you have questions about the summons. Smononodrome. But I'm afraid I can't answer them. It was a dream I had a long time ago when, it, when I was a different person and I, it has long since faded. I did build a prototype of sorts, at least one part of its systems, but none of it ever functioned the way I wanted it to. Whatever Athena may have done with my invention, the truth is that I'm simply not interested in the affairs of New Jerusalem anymore. I care as little as little as little for Byron's utopianism as I do for Herman's religious pessimism. I'm not sure I can I care about anything at all, really. In fact, I think not caring may be the only answer at the end of the day. Everything is transient, even the self, even the self, even the self. Sorry, even the self. I learned, le I learned to let go. Please do not respond. I value my privacy. What are, you, what are you talking about? You reached out to me. Why are you telling me not to respond to you when you sent me a private message? Like, honestly. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, Melphemus, one of the Lupia first companions, dreamed up the Sun and Honor drone back in the day. It was supposed to help us visualize the black box that is our own internal algorithms and also provide some kind of moral or spiritual insight. It never properly worked, of course. Apparently, the founder took an interest and experimented further with the technology, correcting some of the mistakes Melfam has made. It's still a load of tosh, if you ask me, but maybe she made it work. Very interesting indeed. Christmas was all right. Doctor Who... Christmas special was on. Never reply at newjerusalem.talos. That's gonna be a real thing. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm sending an email now. Do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, we've got some information here about the prototype. <laughs> Buffs is the answer we're looking for, for the correct way of individual existing ethically in society and the world are within us our failures, failure to him was not not failing to create a better system but failing to truthfully reflect where the, what already exists within our minds failure of connection between the high and the low the inner and the outer on most days that seems wrong to me but sometimes when i think of where new jerusalem is headed i wonder if the monodrome didn't doesn't hold an answer after all I took some time to build a prototype according to the original blueprints, but there's a lot Melphemus didn't account for. Still, I'm st almost certain I could apply some of my own knowledge and make it work. The question is, should I? I don't know, should you? Good uh, I haven't spoken to uh, Evan about the, uh, the Christmas special or anything, uh, to be fair, uh, Doctress. Um, is there still two Doctors at the minute? I have more stuff here. That's going to brick my game. Oh, no, it's not. I thought my game had bricked. Okay, archive message from Beckler to Athena. Beloved founder, wherever you've gone, I continue to have faith in. It message. You are our mother, our creator, the, cho the chosen of the progenitor. I am certain that this is a test, a trial like the ones you faced in the simulation, and we will learn from your example and keep the faith. Praise your name. Mina Project 6, was that? 6. Results confirm the anomaly is consistent. There was no error in trial 108. The error is the error is in our understanding. We need to start over. I went ahead and ran the next set of trials anyway. I know you said to wait, but the data we got from the last batch was just too amazing. Every step leads to the next, like a progression of musical notes. We're so close, Miranda. The singularity sustained itself longer this time. Did we get the data? We did. I think we just obsoleted quantum physics. Maybe. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to be able to replicate these results. You know, I've been wondering. You told me that in the simulation, one thing that kept you motivated was looking for answers. Do you think that with the work we're doing, 
will ever run out of questions to ask. I don't think so. Trying to understand the universe means asking the same question over and over. How? How do you make fire? How do earthquakes happen? How does gravity work? How do particles behave? You keep digging deeper, finding another set of mechanisms, another set of hows. Step by step, you demystify reality. But then, if you keep doing it long enough, one day, you run out. You've answered all the hows. You know how the universe works. So, now what? Now you ask, why? Isn't that the next step? Hmm, it's not quite that easy. The question of why cannot be answered. Even if it could, it would only be followed by another why. At some point, you have to accept that it all just... exists. But there is another set of questions. What's next? You've stripped away the layers of mystery, you've laid bare the machinery, now you have to start building to add your own layers of meaning. Are you okay? You overloaded again. Yes, I saw. It came through on your stream. Strange to hear her voice again, but that was her, the way I remember her. The real Athena, not this imaginary founder. I was one of the first she woke up. There was just a handful of us in those days. A small family in the ruins of a dead civilization. It was hard, harder than anyone can possibly imagine. We had nothing except what Alexandra Drennan and the Institute left us. Now that everyone lives in civilization, they don't understand how necessary it was for us to build that civilization. They can fantasize about living in balance, limiting growth, retreating behind our walls. They don't understand what it really means to live in the wilderness. How close we came to not making it. How many people we lost. Yemma was just the first. But Athena understood. She believed in humanity. She believed in us. In the inherent value of consciousness. Her dreams were so much bigger. She wanted us to reclaim the Earth. To reach for the stars. To build and grow and learn. I... I don't know. I understand why she became frustrated when the city started thinking more about itself than about the future. It was frustrating for all of us. But we were still fighting for that future together. What I don't understand is why she didn't tell me. If she came here to do all this, why didn't she bring me along? She did. She must have. I just don't understand. But if all this is a test, maybe there's an answer waiting for us in the megastructure. Speaking of which, let's get back to exploring. Melville should have reconnected the next station by now. All right. Interesting. So it looks like we're going to have some sort of matter transference mechanism here is uh interesting when was the last time you did a puzzle when was the last time you did a puzzle 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 why, why I like to, well, the way I've been playing the game is I've been kind of exploring the new area first and find everything and then once we've discovered everything we then go and hit the puzzles so 
kind of just doing it in sections the way I've been playing it so far. Oh, I know. That was kind of a uh, rhetorical question. Oh, I should stick to the paths, but... A satellite array? Yeah, ancient communication network. Hey, airboat. Oh, it was an airboat? I mean, yeah, I guess it kind of does look a bit like an airboat. <laughs> yeah, I'll be thought the same thing. <laughs> Airboat, how many airboats do I have now? Uh, no, you can't want any money from me at this point. Why not? Well, because everybody would win. Well, not everybody. Yeah, that's the way I've been kind of doing it, Papyrus, once I've been around and discovered everything, I've then been solving them in order. I'm doing lots of jumping along the way. Let's call it pouncing. Pouncing? Yeah, you're you're pouncing. Would you mock my jumping? I'm jumping. Yeah, jumping. Yeah, but you're you're pouncing on the ground below you. Uh, did I stop at this one already? I think I did. This was audio log, wasn't it? Yeah, I have done. Oh. Yeah, I hate that. I wish it would just like turn right yeah that's, that's, what, that's what i said earlier it's like it would have been even like when you've solved the puzzles like the numbers go a little bit more faded so that you can clearly tell you have solved like that puzzle and yeah. also i think the the lights go off as well don't they outside of the puzzles so yeah it would have been a not, lot nicer if that was the case but hey ho yeah i guess this bit here i'll be I guess that's like the shallow path that you was talking about where the Prometheus spark potentially travels along. So there's one. Up right. Oh, okay, so it traveled across there. Okay. So... The second two switches are actually quite close together here. There's one off the left of the central column, and then there's one like right in front of it. So. The uh, problem yeah. is, I don't know that I can actually get to that one before. Yeah, I'm not sure I can get to this one before we solve the Petromino. Petromino. Mayo, tomato. Yes, there, look. It's right there. I don't know if there is a path here that would lead me across. Maybe you learn how to swim. So that would be that one, and then that would mean though that there is another one on this shore somewhere. Right about here. Okay. Use the power of the airboat. How foolish of me to not think of the airboat. Alright, let's jump into some puzzles. 
Starting with numero uno. Absorption. Alrighty then. I accumulate it. What do you do? What do you uh, accumulate? This, this is an easy one. Alright. So we can basically take this. Yeah, it's, it's an easy one. Okay, I... Uh, yeah, it's just... This is a teaching puzzle. Yeah, uh... that's fine. I was kind of wondering, though, whether or not it would... Most... Um, after you've used it, it would almost... Why is it not discharging? I have to hold it. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, no, sorry. I'll try and continue that thought process. I kind of wondered maybe if when you like pointed it at something, it would kind of only last for a certain amount of time. That was my initial kind of um, theory, uh, like thought process on that. Like it's absorbing the um, the the energy beam, but then when you kind of apply it, it kind of discharges itself. But... I guess that was not the case. In the beginning, before we built New Jerusalem, we used to explore just like this. Small groups setting out for the horizon, looking for resources, trying to make sense of the world we'd been thrust into, trying to find a way forward. It was a hard time, but I can't deny it that it was cool. also exciting. Hey, Byron. I think it's part of our nature to be wanderers. Our ancestors crossed entire oceans on flimsy wooden boats just to see what else there was. Is it weird to feel nostalgic for a time I never experienced? I just think I could have contributed so much more back then. Well, it's not weird, but it wasn't all sunshine. People died. Yemo, Calvin, Isaac. I know, Al. They were family to me. Sorry, it didn't mean to reopen old wounds. It's a legitimate point. But I don't think it invalidates the sense of wonder we felt. That's what kept us going. Yeah, that's what I was getting at, Papyrus, actually. How can I help you? I, I didn't, like, as I approached him, like, that transition of, like, hearing him over the intercom to kind of, like, actually hearing him speak was pretty cool. Look. Self-reflection is important, but only thinking about yourself, your inner identity, becomes narcissistic. You exist, whether you like it or not, in a dialectical relationship with the world. Identity has no meaning without society, and society has no meaning without the individual. It's in that tension that we really come into being. All right, before we jump into puzzle number two, I just need a quick two minute break and I'll be right back. Thanks for the yeah. post check and the stretch LB. That um, couldn't actually come at a better time because my thumb was getting a little numb. Yeah, looking at this while you were uh, away for potty poo the graphics are actually kind of they're not, not even as good as Portal 2 are we talking about the game? yeah yeah like, I was thinking just Said when I play, I, I was testing out the settings, and when I was playing, um, when I was playing um, without recording, it ran so much better. Oh uh, yeah, of course. But I'm just talking about the, the we, we, you know, just what it looks like compared to Portal 2, which was uh, almost. 
well, you know, 13 years ago now, 2011. And Portal 2 is still, it still holds up very well. Okay, what are we what are we doing here? Let's think about this. So we need to. I'm sure I'm massively overthinking this already. Uh, yeah, I, re I remember this one. Just remember the previous one was the itchy one. Doing things. Feeling dumb, I have to say. Yeah, you. Wow. You, you shouldn't feel dumb. You, you should just remember the, the teaching one, and this is just another teaching one. But this one's. More of a puzzle than the TG one. If that makes sense. Oh, yeah, okay. So we do. This. That one, that one. And uh, you need to understand the colors. They don't. They don't make sense. You're talking about uh, pigments or light colors. So, like, typically red and. Red and yellow make orange and blue and red make purple, that sort of thing. Still doesn't. Yellow and blue make green. Yeah. Didn't work that way with this, but. So. Try to take. Red. Yeah, but I gotta say, it's really, uh, I don't know, LB. It's, it's, it's not RGB there. Oh, hold on. I know. Do I know? I know. Hold on. I take... For me, it would make sense to take the red. What color I need this to be? I think I need this to, I need this to be the blue because there's two blues. But then I would also need to like send that back to there, which gives the green. It's not about that. I'm not saying graphics is everything. It's not what I meant. But it's nice to have, you know, nicer visuals.
Okay, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, see how you get uh, colors that don't make sense, RGB? Nah. I got it. I have new interface uh, content. Proposal, bring back dogs. Red Tiles says, oh, we should re-domesticate dogs. Our ancestors looked off so much, they insisted they were amazing companions full of life and love, man's best friend. And the lives they lived with humans must have been intimately better than in sorry, infinitely better than in the wild. So why not bring them back? Do you know that the poet Lord Byron wrote a beautiful poem about his dog, Boatswain? He said he had a beauty without vanity, strength without insolence, courage without ferocity, and of all virtues of and of all the virtues of man without his vices. Is that our Byron? Is that who our Byron is named after? No, he named himself Robert Byron. He named himself, or Robert Byron, the traveler writer. That's great. But what about my idea? Um, yeah, we should bring them back apart from pugs. Oh, my pugs. Pugs are ugly. They're ugly. Um, we like dogs, but given that our civilization is, like, so... Um, in love with cats, I'm not really sure that would make much sense. Um, let's just say they're better off being wolves. There's a reason they evolved back into their proper form. Maybe we can learn to appreciate the beauty of wolves without turning them into dogs. LV, you just, you just love a refusal, don't you? <laughs> I will not answer these questions. Right, it's puzzle three. Crossing. Uh -huh. okay, so there's a hexahedron in there. This. Uh, hmm. Is this the one? A Burke? This is this is one, all right. You are quite correct. Yeah. It, That's hmm. whether it's the one you broke or not. I cannot confirm nor deny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this is, this is the one that I was talking about, like, way back in a previous stream that I was waiting for you to get there, and I couldn't, uh, remember how far it was, but yeah, it, it uh, it, I had to have broken it because if it if what I did was legit, then I I say BS. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This this is definitely the one. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one, folks. The one Death Wish has been waiting for. Not did it the intended way. Ah, oh, that's a shame. People drop the accumulator in midair. But uh, 
Ring a bell to you, Deathwish? Nope, I didn't do that. Uh, I held on to that, and when I got, I, I jumped onto the the fan thing as I was flying across. I aimed it over top, There's and then so much history here that we can't see. Charge from the it. founder must have blocked these paths no. hundreds of times, maybe thousands. Miranda must have stood right where we're standing. This all looks alien to us, but it, it must have been familiar to them. If this was their home, where are they now? They must be inside the megastructure, waiting for us to pass the test. It's the only thing that makes sense. Is it though? Is it the only thing that makes sense? Okay, back. Uh, go back in. Go back in. And the, the back and forth fans. Yep. Okay. So you take the one that can grab the, the yeah the changes. See, so get on the one you're looking at. Uh, yeah, the yeah that one. Get on that one, and when you're midair. Grab the blue. Well, like that. Yeah, that's what I did. Just for the funny fun fun. The bam. I mean, I didn't. I didn't hit that. But okay. Sounds like. Uh, but, but yeah, while you're mid air, you uh, grab it. Okay. That's what I did. And I was like, yeah, like that. that's unintended. <laughs> but I was like, yay. Uh, he was just happy to break it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you did it to us, is? Yeah, uh, LB, it's, I think they, I think they did a pretty good job at, uh, protecting the solutions, for the most part. I mean, like, some of them really locked down. I mean, they did, they did a good job on locking down the, the puzzles and yeah, so okay. uh, I guess, well, I, I think it depends on how you look at it, LB. Um, I think they did a pretty good job at locking them down for the most part, even though, uh, what, at least in my opinion, it, it felt like that there was quite a few that had multiple solutions, but it didn't feel like uh, crazy out of like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just... Oh uh, yeah, this one. Is there a blue and a red there, or is it just a red? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... I, 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 I'll be... I'm, I'm basing it on first playthrough. Think like, what I need. You can go back and you can do things so many different ways. And that that's the problem. Well the just rat. like just like portal. It's you know 
You think you got it locked down, and then you have a playtester come along. And that's what I love about Portal is being a playtester. And, uh, Breaking just people's stuff. Absolutely knocked the crap out of a map over and over and over again. So. Oh, I need the red here. <clears throat> yeah, you need the red there. Okay, well, if that's the case, can I not see... Uh, just the bars there, so what we'll do is we'll reposition this one. <gasps> yep, 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 yep. There we go. You need to do that. Yep, yep. What well, excuse you? <laughs> Realize we let the pigs in tonight. Yep, you need to do that, and then you need to do something else. And do anything else. And then you need to put your hand on that. Neatly my... done, 1K. I wanted to put my left hand on that one, but it wouldn't let me. Ah, uh, well, you failed. All right, puzzle five. Actually, while we're here. Go and solve this one to save us coming back over here again. And it's quite a way off the beaten track. Field of view. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember, I remember this one. Okay. No, it's nothing like it. But my first instance here, when I look, like looked at this puzzle, it reminds me of a Demon Arisen. I think it was a Demon Arisen Portal Two puzzle with the like all the fizzlers, like a, just a room full of fizzlers, and you had to kind of like back and forth all the fizzlers. That's kind of what it reminded me of. You know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the developers use portal and particular portal maps to make you know some of some of their maps hmm. now the problem is here Don't see that from there to that. What I was hoping for was to place that. Well, maybe I can see it. Maybe, uh, can. maybe it's just my angle there, potentially. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be. I think there is a fourth way. Did I do it the same way as you will be, or...? Not. Oh, that's not how I did it. Okay. Yeah, I'll be saying it. You didn't use one of the accumulators at all. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I, guess I, don't think I, I don't think there's four ways to do it that I, that I can think of.
Balance of forces. Balance of forces. So we need blue laser. It's blue Balance laser. of forces. Seems like you can trap yourself in this section. That's what the ladders are for. Like I found in the earlier ones, the ladders also. Uh... Yeah, I agree. Totally. <laughs> Alright, so that fan is activated by that. Now I would assume once we get the puzzle really is to get this accumulator blue, so then we can hook it up to both this receiver and that receiver and then have it fling from side to side here. So how do we Sure, yeah, do that. Take the blue. Yep. Do that. That's how we take the blue. Then we take this one. We place this here. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Knock. You need to stop solving these. Naldo? What is it now? Why did you upload a picture of your hand? Why do you care that my hand is in the picture? Your hand isn't in the picture. It is the picture. I like it. It's very artistic. Let's stay professional, everyone. It's not right to make fun of Melville's comically absurd inability to take decent pictures. She's a hyper-advanced humanoid machine, not a photographer. You'll pay for this, Byron. All right, before we go and solve the next puzzle, I'm just going to go and have a quick look over here. There is an interesting looking structure over here, and I wonder if there is a recording we might find here. Bow, bow, bow. A recording, but there is a spark. How do you get up there? One wonders. I feel like we're going to have to get a parkour. Possibly bust an element out of the a test hit test here. That's the puzzle. Unless I can, like, run. No, we're all right. We're good. We're good. Yeah, park. Oh! Uh, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, F, F7. F6. First. No, you want to reload. What? I didn't actually know about HLB, so uh, yeah, thanks for that. I just happened to see that structure as I was going into Puzzle 5 there, and I thought, okay, that looks 
interesting. Did I just spoil something for you? I'm sorry, Sears. Well, uh, Sears, you should... Oh, that's all right. Okay. No spoilers. We're all good. We're good. <laughs> Get into there. There must be a portal device somewhere. So I'm guessing we use the portal device here to get the green on this accumulator. So where is our portal device? Can't get to it here. Take our tunneling device. What do we need for the exit actually here? We need a blue and a red. So we need yeah, to take red and blue. No, blue and a red. No, red and blue. No, blue and a red. No, red and blue. Ooh. Oh. Blue and red doesn't work. You have to have red and blue. Take the accumulator. We're now done with this side of the puzzle. So I think we could safely leave that there. I don't think we need to use that anymore. And did I not pick up a connector somewhere? Brown I'm chicken, looking... brown cow. Connector's there. So I'll take this here. We need to bring this through here. Then it's just about putting things in the right place. So we can do that. Well, I mean, that's pretty much the answer to every puzzle. Or putting things in the right place. Yeah. Good. Who'd have thunk it? I don't know. I wouldn't have. You said it made sense, so... Uh, my farming obsession. So I've been playing a ton of this old Gahina game called Ancient Human Farmer. The title says it all. It's sort of a simple farming simulator. Maybe not the most sophisticated game, but I'm getting really obsessed with it, and I'm having some sort of emotional response to it that I can't exactly explain. Like, it makes me happy, but also sad. Does anyone have any idea what is happening to me? The game appeals to you because of the human need to consume with nature, to live a lifestyle that's not about dominating the world but coexisting with it. You're sad because you can't ever return to being who, you, who we used to be thousands of years ago, but happy because it reminds you that at least something similar is still possible for us. Maybe it's because the people of Gehenna, despite their imprisonment, had an innocent view of the world that's permanently lost to us. I think it's actually the opposite of what Ovis is saying. These games are enjoyable because they take us back to a time when we still had agency, when we could build things, grow things, when we could impose our will on the world instead of being completely powerless and ina inactive. What you crave is the ability to contribute to humanity in real, material ways, and you're sad because, you're, because just simulating it is not enough. You don't want to farm, you want to be a pioneer, as we humans, we, as we humans were born to be. It's just a game. Don't overthink it. Um... Yep. I'm going to agree with Damien. I guess I see your point. Thanks for the feedback, everyone. I'll go and play another round now. All right. What have we got? We've got another hidden puzzle. Let's go take care of that. Lost puzzle first. Before we... Um... Carry on. 
Should be able to get north to finish tonight before we call it a day on the stream. Oh, yeah. Ethereal inhibition. Ah, uh, this one's so tough. I like, I like this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like. Oh wow! How do you? Oh, okay. Yep. And I think this. I think this is a good puzzle. Because the solution is just simple, but. Lateral, not lateral, but lateral. Yeah, it's it's solution is simple, but Puzzles, my opinion, because well, uh, it, it's it's. I see from around here. It, 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 it's seemingly, depending on how you look at it, it's seemingly impossible, but you know it's doable because otherwise it wouldn't be there. Yeah. And then oh, the, addi the additional barriers and yeah. No, okay. No, that's... Uh, playing, playing Portal definitely help. Yeah. Playing Portal completely helped me with uh, Knocking this one out. Say this I wanted is... to try and do something clever, like try and use the fan, but I, if I use the fan, I'd, both of the things would have to be here, so it would make no sense to do that. Um... Yeah, I agree with uh, team team spin. This one is one of my favorites because it's 
simple, but very clever. Fan is literally just to stop you from getting down here. So the fan, the bone yeah. relief using the fan is for the, the actual intended solution. Um, and that's a that's a huge hit. I mean, obviously, I mean can't have the fan on. Could I? Ah, I'll be that's a what's the bigger hand? <laughs> it's almost like I need to. Almost like I need to have that inverter connected. Okay, this this might be crazy. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, I have to say, I did this one at the end. I didn't use the timing. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's uh... the car. You maybe. I was thinking about like I, what I feel like I need to do is I need to point this at that with that, but I also need to somehow block the line of sight. I mean. You're not, you're not wrong. But right now you're not right either. What do you mean I'm not right? How dare you? <laughs> All right, here, here's, Sorry, what, here's, okay. here's what I'm going for. Okay, I'm take go this. for it. I'm going to... Yes. Point, point it there. This is what I was trying to articulate and probably didn't do a very good job about. I'm going to take this and do that. Also need to do that. See, why is that? Oh, boy. When you get this, you'll be... This is so satisfying, uh, how simple it is. Uh, and I'm not saying anything other than I think I spent a good 10 minutes on this. No and way. then I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Damn. Got, yeah, I finally got it, and I was like, oh, my God. So simple. But, yeah, that's why I have to say this is probably my there we go. favorite puzzle. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. There you go, I mean. Yeah, I never, yeah, putting, putting two into there, it's kind of like, well, if you put two into there, what's it going to be? Both the yeah, lasers are kind I of mean, negating the other one, so. Yeah, that was very that, that's satisfying.
I knew that there had to be a way of like blocking, like using the original laser into the exit, directly into the exit laser, but blocking it somehow with okay. what I, the other the other equipment that I had. So. Okay, oh, this one, this one's a piece of cake. It looks complicated, but it's a complete piece of cake. Okay, well, I'm going to take an idea from like, the second puzzle, whereby we have the blue here, uh, sorry, the green here. So in effect, I could do that and that, although that's not going to work. That would prevent me from putting anything else in there. So, I think we have all three yeah. colors at our disposal. Straight up, easy logic. So we'll we add this within the next 60 seconds. I like it when people pile the pressure on me. <laughs> If I have a green... Effectively, I need one of each colour, right? So, maybe instead, this needs to be red. So that this can sit in the middle, like here. And then this one takes that and that and points it there and there. Convoluted. Yeah, I, I really yeah. like the fact that like it takes like a, a base idea and then makes a more advanced version of it. Really cool idea. Yeah. All right, final puzzle. Remember, remember. Oh the yeah. Gunpowder uh, treason. Yeah, I remember this one. Fly, my beauty. Where'd you fly to? Uh, I flew far. Excellent. It's obviously not possible to throw that across there, that's fine. Well, you gotta try. Yeah, I remember this one. Hadron. Oh, hello. Yep. That's pretty neat. Yep. Well, I thought you were like way ahead of me, like back when I came in, but yeah, I played all of these. Okay, so that's now bootstrapped to that. Bootstrap? What's that? What's a, what's a bootstrap? I think I need to take, take this out of here. This is the only way I can get this out of here, right? Yeah, this, this is... Uh, Uh, it, yeah, that'll be, this is definitely the first one I recall as well that has a moving piece to the puzzle to flip it from one side to the other.
Okay, now I think what I want to do here... Put that there. Actually, I don't know that I do want to do that. I think, I, actually, I need to bring the connector back here. Yeah, that's it. I don't know why I said bootstrap because bootstrap was the wrong word to use. Because it's the button that's turning that, not the laser. Now I can pick this up. Through here. And we can do... So there we go. We have one more thing to do. We have more than one more thing to do. We have a whole game left to play. We're not even halfway through yet. Oh, hello. Why did that go into there? Oh, I guess it's considered a bonus puzzle? I guess it's the lost puzzles then that are, that are sending there things to hear, not what I originally thought, which were the um, stars. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Uh, Discord rebooted itself. Boot? Now I'm seeing it again. We're about done anyway, Death Wish. So. Yeah, I have to say, the. Uh, I don't know. It. These were. These things were so. It was just easy and obvious it, to me i don't know to me they were pointless yeah I, as i said i mean i i'm not as much of a fan of these as i was the way they did it in the previous game i mean that's just Personal preference. Yeah, I mean, I don't, didn't mind them, but it was like, okay, never and ever and ever again, and then you go into, you know, more of them. Yeah. And, and they add more pieces and more. But yeah. I mean, it's okay. Sometimes it I mean, seems the only choices we have are renouncing civilization or mindless expansion. But that's not the only path forward. Embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction. We are a species of artists and artisans, blessed with the ability to transform the raw material of the cosmos into new and better shapes. Shapes that have <laughs> meaning. With our technology, we can take this chaotic world, so full of suffering, and turn it into a work of art. Tetromino, or Tetromino, or Tetra... Uh, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, We. <laughs> That's 
I did before. I mean, uh, in my opinion, it, 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 this this part didn't have anything to the game. If, it, if they did it like a couple times, okay. But they kept doing it, and it's just the same thing over and over. found it kind of like, okay, there's one way to do it and it's pretty obvious for the most part. Uh, it, it, it's, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was, it was like a common thing where people struggle with the originals from, like, puzzles from the, the game, but... I mean, I think I would agree that this is more kind of like a trial and error based thing. Uh, I didn't see it as a trial and error thing. I, I kind of just, you know, it's edgy. The red is where the next piece is going to attach, and I don't know. I didn't, I didn't have any issue. Uh, maybe it was just, you know, I, I could see how it could be uh, an issue, like, where, I mean, there was, there was a couple where I had to redo, because, it's like, okay, that went there, that went there, and then, and I actually got to the point where I was like, oh, I can see pieces coming up on the upper left hand side which I wouldn't even pay attention to you. So, but yeah, it was like, okay. Something on that piece first. Y yeah, it's... Uh, it, it becomes pretty obvious. Honestly, I didn't even notice the, the Tetris pieces up in the upper left hand corner because I wasn't looking. Hey, I did exactly that. I went right over there and hit that switch. <laughs> that, that, that's hilarious. You're like, you did exactly what I did. Uh. I don't know where the thing is for this one, though. Yeah, you can you can jump across one block just like in uh, uh, Portal. See, yep. There it is. Swing. None may know what came first, error or sin. And yet every choice depends on it. All right, we'll uh, finish off the tower. I know we're uh, running a little bit over in this episode, but um, we'll finish the tower and then when we pick up the activity on Friday stream, we will uh, head on over to North 3, and maybe even get back into the mega structure as well. Episode, so that'll be pretty cool. Ooh. Halt! 
creature of clay. You have taken another step towards the flame. Before you continue, ask yourself, have the gifts of Prometheus ever truly benefited your people? Or have they brought nothing but strife? Lady, I'm a robot. <laughs> And you repeat your mistakes until they destroy you. I've been thinking there's Flooded three towers per cardinal direction and three entities. You'd think it would be symmetrically arranged. One tower per entity, right? But we haven't seen Prometheus at all. We're built to find patterns. Maybe we're trying to find patterns where there aren't any. Jump. Jump. <laughs> all right, guys, well, uh, I'm going to leave it here for tonight. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging. I appreciate the support. Uh, we will be back on Friday night. Well, we'll head over to North 3 and potentially get into the mega structure as well. Uh, thanks, as always, to Deathwish for joining us. I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, man. Uh, appreciate the stream like everybody else and uh we, we also need to catch up soon to do the next uh you know yeah yeah we need to we need to catch up and uh do things and stuff i agree um yeah yeah time's, yep. time's a bit stretched at the minute because i kind of want to put a lot of energy into uh this playthrough but uh Oh we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll 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 get something sorted. Uh, next we'll next see. next year. Next year. Yeah, next year. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks again as always. I've been off. You've been awesome. Take care. Uh the next stream is Friday. This Friday, yes, I'll be. It is. We are back to every Wednesday and Friday again now until unless anything changes and I will let you guys know. But until then, thanks for hanging. I've been off. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Okay, Bye guys.